And now we turn to Japan, where Toyota has just unveiled its latest car, the LQ, featuring new artificial intelligence. Its name is LQ. Our goal with LQ is to demonstrate capabilities that will protect, delight, inform, and connect passengers while preserving a functional layout practical design, and fun-to-drive performance. Beyond the design of the car itself, we are combining global expertise to build and deploy a cloud infrastructure, and we are leveraging best practices in software, AI, and cloud technology. Its AI agent is called Yui, and it helps enable people and cars to better communicate and become true teammates. We employ Yui to function as a personalized, hands-free, cloud-connected assistant that not only responds to the driver, but also prompts the driver, when important, to engage in a dialogue. Our vision is to create a human and machine system that would learn from and adapt to each individual, understanding their preferences and needs, and continuously building trust. We look forward to telling you more about how we are both integrating automated driving capability and UE into the Toyota LQ. Now joining me here on the stage is Dor Schooler from the Intuition Robotics and Jim Adler from Toyota AI Ventures. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> now, Dor, I want to start with you. Last year, you demonstrated your robot assistant, LEQ, here on the stage, and you told us about the tie-up with Toyota. So now, what's the connection with the LQ car? Yeah, thanks. So actually, we have two pieces of news. The first is that we're, we're happy to announce today that our cognitive AI agent, Q, that you see up on here on the, on the screen, is actually used by Toyota Research Institute, and we help them um, create the UE agent. It will be alive um, and on the road this summer in Japan. And this, thank you. And the second piece of news, on the back of a year in which LEQ spent our, our robot for the elderly, that a lot of you um, returning uh, people to, to Summit know, um, this last year it spent 10,000 days in people's homes. People aged 78 to 98, creating amazing interactions and proving that we can create a relationship between humans and machines. And on the back of that, we're happy to announce also today, and this just hit the wire a few minutes ago, because it's news for Summit, that we were able to complete our Series B funding that we launched here last year and raise $36 million uh, for the wow. company. Congratulations, that's Thank an you. amazing effort. Now, Jim, Toyota AI Ventures led the company's Series A, participated in the B round, and now you've joined the company's board of directors. So why are you so excited about Intuition Robotics? Yeah, I'm clearly excited. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we fell in love with the company because of the empathetic approach to connecting humans with machines, embodied in LEQ for the elderly. But, you know, as our teams began to understand more of the underlying technology, uh, we moved into a more commercial relationship, and that collaboration is growing, and, and we are really excited about that. And we, when we first invested, you never know where this is going to go, right? You invest, we invest for teams that are creative and uh, energetic, and you never know where the technology and team may take you. And we're so excited to be part of this evolution of the company. So how is your team at Toyota AI Ventures supporting Intuition Robotics, and why invest in an empathetic companion company from Israel to help you with all of this? Yeah. Uh, Toyota AI Ventures is really about exploring what might be next for Toyota. And you got to be active in Israel to really fulfill that mission, we firmly believe. And in fact, uh, at, uh, a few months ago at CES, we announced our second call for innovation to find and fund startups that are focused on smart cities and connected technologies. And so, all of you founders that are out there or those that are thinking about starting a company, go to our website. You can upload your pitch and uh, we will uh, streamline uh, your review of your company and maybe you'll be, I'll be sitting next to you one day uh, here on stage. <laughs> now, gentlemen, before I let you go, Dora, I want to turn back to you because you just said that you have now have another $36 million handy. How do you plan to spend it? 
Yeah, so Jim told me to not to say on uh, salaries to the founders. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we grew the company this year from 38 people to 85 people. We more than doubled the size of the team, and I'm happy to say also, while retaining um, the entire previous team and really working hard on retaining the culture, of the, of the team itself. And what we've seen is that there is demand for this new relationship that's possible between man and machine, not just with the elderly and not just in automotive, but also in additional domains. So we're gonna be busy doubling down on our research and creating deeper competitive modes on our technology, while also delivering on the missions we've started and starting to explore additional domains. Gentlemen, Jim, Dor, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you on the stage. Thanks, thank Sarah. you. Thank you.